Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. I started the carnivore diet two years ago this month, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. Now let's get on into our video. Now two years ago I started the carnivore diet and it has been an amazing thing. I first started looking into trying to lose weight because I was worried that I may have another heart attack. I had a heart attack in 2018 and I lost weight and got healthy for about a year and then I blew back up again. That's kind of the way diets are. It's a roller coaster. So I was looking into some kind of a diet to lose weight and kind of get myself healthy again. And I started looking into keto. Keto was very interesting, but I kept seeing this carnivore stuff. I thought, what is a carnivore diet? And what is lion diet? What's the deal? So I started watching these videos and I was amazed. Everybody that I seen the videos on were having great results. So I thought, let me watch some videos and check this out for a while. So it took me about two months to make a decision to even try it. This was somewhere around June or July of uh, two years ago. So my wife, I talked to her about it. She said, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of crazy. Just eating meat. That don't sound healthy. So we watched some videos. She watched some videos. I watched them by myself. So we spent about two months of just going full in down the rabbit hole on carnivore. So to make a long story short, we finally started carnivore when I turned 59 in September. So let me just walk you through the results that I have enjoyed over the last two years. I'm going to kind of break it down into a timeline so you can get an idea of uh, how things have went for me. First of all, the first three days I had withdrawal headaches from not eating sugar and drinking sodas and tea and all the things that I didn't need to have. So I started having really bad headaches now, before I started the carnivore diet, I was diagnosed with spinal stenosis and degenerative disc disease, and I was in constant pain. My legs were hurting all the time, all the way from my hips to my ankles. Uh, I would get muscle spasms. I would have to stop and stretch on my job every two or 300 yards. I just couldn't walk. I had to stop and stretch because of the spasms. After three days, the headaches finally went away with the withdrawal. And I got to noticing the headaches are gone. I feel pretty good. And the weird thing was my back didn't hurt anymore. Those muscle spasms were gone and they haven't returned since. Now this has been two years free of muscle spasms in my legs. I have had a few times with my back where I overdone it because I got to thinking I was too young again. But either way, that inflammation went away the first week before I lost a single pound. Now, the first week on carnivore, you're going to either have diarrhea or constipation. I had the diarrhea and it was kind of bad, but it takes about two weeks for your stomach and everything to get lined up to work off the carnivore diet. But after two or three weeks, I got to notice and I felt I could breathe better. So I quit taking my inhaler. I had an inhaler to help myself breathe. I was taking Allegra because I would get where I couldn't hardly breathe. In some of my old videos, you can probably hear me breathing. It's like, Luke, I'm your father type of thing. So that has went away and I haven't done Allegra or the inhaler since. Now I had severe acid reflux, the kind of acid reflux that feels like somebody's strangling you from the inside. So I thought, hey, I would probably quit this too. So I quit it, acid reflux came back and I thought, I can't just cold turkey this. So I started back taking it and then I started, after about a week, I took one every other day instead of every day, and then one every other two days, and then I just quit taking it all together. And since then, my acid reflux has been gone completely for two years now. So that's three medications down. I used to have these awful headaches because of the spinal stenosis. I would have a pressure build up in my head while I was asleep. What I understand is your brain actually produces the spinal fluid. And if it can't escape and go down your spine and be absorbed in your body, the pressure builds up in your head. I would wake up almost every morning with a terrible migraine. Those went away as well. Okay, as far as the weight loss is concerned, my first month I lost about 25 pounds. The second month I lost about 20 pounds. 
The third month, I lost about 15 pounds. And then the fourth month, I lost another 10 pounds, 70 pounds off. And I've been maintaining that 70 pound weight loss for a year and six months now. So it's an amazing way to keep it off. And I have found that if you cheat on the diet, the inflammation tries to come back. This is the kind of diet that's not forgiven. If you go off of it, you know it. Your body rejects it. It's not good at all. If you plan on using carnivore as just a weight loss solution for a little bit of time, it's not worth it. But if you want to change your life completely and not go back, this is the way to go. Some of the things that I've experienced is I have better sleep, more energy. My circulation is better. And for you guys, I'm just going to say it like this. Better circulation means a lot. So just read between the lines. I had other problems that you have by being overweight. My knees, my joints, the arthritis, all this stuff has went away. I had arthritis symptoms in my hands and my elbows and my back and my neck pretty, pretty much all over. Those symptoms have went away and have not come back. Another thing that I have experienced is my prostate has went to normal. Now that takes a while because those cells have to be replaced as they die off with normal cells and the new cells replace them. It takes about a year. So it took me about eight months to a year to have a normal prostate and that is normal now. I don't have any problems with that anymore. That issue is gone and I'm thankful for that as well. I used to have brain fog all the time. I just really couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to do. I just felt like I was half asleep. Now I feel wide awake and I have mental focus. With this diet here, you never get hungry. You get to where you want something, but you don't have the hunger pangs that you have with a regular diet. Sometimes I'll go seven, eight hours during the day, not eat a thing. There's times where I'll eat a big meal the night before and I'll go all day and not eat a thing and not even think about it and not even want to eat anything. For some reason, the carnivore diet sustains you longer because it's a nutrient dense diet. And I do want to say this. I know this has been kind of a long video, but a lot of people has been asking me about this. And I thought I need to actually post a video so I can just say, hey, check out the video because I keep repeating this stuff to people over and over and over again. Oh, yeah, I do want to say this. Some of the medications that I quit taking, my doctor took me off of them. And these are the things I was taking. I was using an inhaler, Allegra, Nexium, Aspirin, Metropolol Tar, Lisintopril, Atorvastatin, and Berlenta. Every one of these was a daily medication. The, the inhaler I took off myself, the Allegra I took off because it was over the counter, Nexium was over the counter. Those three I took off myself. So before I went to the doctor, I bought a little blood pressure kit and I checked my blood pressure every single day for about three months. And it was always 110 over 75. It was always low. So when I went back to the doctor, I showed him that little paper. I said, look, you know, my blood pressure is like this every day. It's low and I'm feeling kind of dizzy occasionally. They said, okay, we're going to take you off the low dose aspirin. We're going to take you off the metropolol tar and we're going to cut down your lisinopril into half. I said, okay, that's great. And they said, just keep watching your blood pressure every day. And if your blood pressure keeps dropping too low, you can cut these blood pressure pills in half. And then you can start taking half of one. I said, okay, I'll, I'll do that. So my blood pressure kept dropping. So I thought, okay, I'll cut them in half. And then I started taking one every other day. And then I just quit taking it. My blood pressure has been absolutely perfect. 120 over 80 every single time I check it. Now, sometimes it might be 121 over 81 or 82, but most of the time it's 120 over 80. Occasionally it'll be 119 or 118 over 78 or something. I did myself do some investigating on Atorvastatin and Berlenta. Now that was my personal choice. I did talk to my doctor about going off of the Berlenta and the Atorvastatin. They said, we'll cut down the Atorvastatin, but we want to keep you on the Berlenta. My other doctor, before I moved to this new doctor, said, we're going to take you off of it after six months and you'll be fine. And I gained a bunch of weight. She said, I'm not going to take you off of it because you gained a bunch of weight, so we're going to leave you on it a little while. So I've done the research and I made the decision myself. My doctor didn't take me off of it, but I did talk to my doctor about not taking it and uh, they knew it was my choice. So I quit taking. So don't quit taking any medications for sure. Talk to your doctor and make sure what the issues could be coming from not taking a certain medication. This is my personal choice along with my doctor's advice. I don't take anything now. 
Thankfully, I feel great. When I was 40 years old, I felt like I was 60. And now that I'm 61 years old, I feel like I'm 40. It's been an amazing journey and I'm so thankful. I just want to also let everybody know that this is not a protein diet. This is a fat diet. A lot of people don't understand. They, they try to eat a lot of protein and they'll eat lean meats and they just don't have any energy. And it really messes with your body. Your body either needs to operate on one or another type of fuel. You're either going to operate on glucose, which is sugar, or you're going to operate on fat, which is ketones. Like I said before, it's like moving from a gas burning vehicle to a diesel burning vehicle. And if you know, if you're going to do a lot of highway miles, you need a diesel. And that's exactly the way this is. We plan on doing a lot of highway miles on this body. So I went ahead and opted to go from a sugar glucose diet to a fat keto diet. Now the ketones are what your body needs. Your brain is mostly made up of fat and that's what you need to give your brain. And if you start feeling weak on this diet, you need to add more fat. A lot of times people add butter. If they eat a ribeye, they'll eat all the fatty bits. Well, I used to cut the fatty bits off and throw it to the puppy, but the puppy don't get it now. That's me. I'll eat all the fatty bits, even though at first I didn't really like the texture of eating the fat. But I noticed the more that I eat the fat, the more energy I have and the more uh, endurance that I have. So you don't want to have lean meats. You want the fattiest meat you can get. A ribeye is absolute king. Eggs are great. I eat a lot of eggs. I eat a lot of ribeyes. I eat a lot of the fat. And usually when you're on this diet, you don't retain water, so you don't have to limit your salt intake. You're going to need the salt for your body to operate because you need the electrolytes. Uh, I don't retain water. I don't have any bloating. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful. So I hope this video was helpful to you and I uh, hope that I covered everything. And if I didn't, just comment in the comments and I'll try to answer if possible. Maybe if you want to answer in the comments as well, throw your two cents in there of what your experience has been with the carnivore diet. That would be amazing. May even help somebody else. But I hope that you've enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. In Genesis chapter 9, verse 1 through 3, it says, And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air and upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. I just want to say share the word and be a blessing.